Whew, it's 5.22 to be exact. I slept pretty well. <clears throat> it's a little chilly, but not too bad, actually. You're wondering if I brought it, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you, cozy, flat, sandy, comfortable camp spot. I'm loving the bird songs here. Ah, I'm feeling refreshed and good and a little bit chilly, but I think I'm gonna warm up very quickly because it's time to go straight up Coco, which I've heard is about 10 kilometers, six miles of extremely steep uphill. <laughs> so it'll be a nice morning walk. There it is, Coco. It's Coco time. <laughs> oh, I've heard so many stories on the Facebook pages and all the lore of Coco claims and how hard it is essentially. So it'll be nice to tackle this early in the morning when I have lots of it. <coughs> Excuse me, when I have lots of energy. Oh, and how can I forget? No crashies, no flatties, no whammies. You know, when I'm out here sometimes, like right now, it feels like I'm the only person doing this. And then I see all the tire tracks in the dirt here. And it connects me to all the other racers. And it's comforting knowing that a lot of people have come before me. A lot of people will follow in our footsteps and this crazy trail is keeping us all together and we have quite a story to tell not only this year but all the years combined you know what makes walking up steep hills easier talking to new friends <laughs> this is my buddy mike oh sorry yeah it's my buddy mike here He's on the board of Bikepacking Roots, which is an amazing nonprofit aimed at, actually, you probably could say it better. We are the only nonprofit that is focused on. Hold on, sorry, sorry. Okay, interview take two. We'll, we'll stop for this one. So, Bikepacking Roots, what's the, what's the goal? So, we're the only nonprofit that uh, exists really to support uh, the experience of bikepacking. Um, we have three different pillars that we focus on, which is route development advocacy and then building community so we have a lot of local events across the country that are aimed at bringing new people into the sport and helping bike packers get to know one another and growing from that perspective and then we've got great routes on our site including the western wildlands route 2700 miles from eureka down to the border past tucson uh, and then our advocacy we're trying to protect public lands uh, and advocate for public lands and the communities that we ride through and also building a strong ethic among bike packers so that as we travel through lands and communities we are bringing value to that as opposed to detracting value from that. And if you follow my channel you know that I've done quite a few fundraisers for bike packing routes and these socks that I'm wearing right here, my Olay socks, 100% of the proceeds goes to bike packing routes. So get you some socks. Get you some nice wool USA made socks. <laughs> yeah, Ryan will actually uh, donate the socks that he's wearing now and won't even wash them. And so <laughs> we'll put that up online soon. <laughs> That's kidding. right, yeah, I'll sign them. You can have my stinky socks after all this. Absolutely. Right on. Well, thank you so much for what you do. I really appreciate it. You're making our world better. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time. All right, this gives you a better idea of how steep it is. Look at all those guys suffering up this mountain. Go, go, go. You can do it. Whew, it's never ending, it seems. A lot of false flats here. <laughs> this is a proper hike bike. Whew. And this is what the surroundings look like here. Give you an idea. Wow. Yeah. 
sorry if this footage is shaky, but you get the idea why. Look at those guys. Come on, you got this. You. Woo, way to go. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. How you doing, my friend? Excellent, mate. Yeah? Living the dream. I love it. Mate, it's a walk, walk in the park. It is. The duddle. It's what a else are you be doing at six o'clock in the morning on a Saturday? You could be having a lie in, reading his papers, having a cup of coffee. Nah, blow that, mate. You want to be going up Coco Claims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, you can't draft behind me there, buddy. That is against the yeah, rules. Five meters, five meters. Come on. <laughs> no, um, yeah. is, uh, oh. Man, this will wake you up. Oh, yeah. So every now and then you hit this false flat and you're like, sweet, I'm done. And then you see that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Let's go do it, buddy. Let's do this. You use a lot more energy. It's time to do downhill. It's time to go some downhill. It's time to ride downhill. Yeah Here we go, baby. Down the snow. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna go sledding here. Yeehoo! Woo! Keep those feet dry, my friend. Come on through the water. Woo! Nice job. My feet. Way to go. Woo! Oh yeah, a little cold mountain water. Slop. A little muddy. Yeah. Ooh, gotta fit my tire right in that little. <laughs> yeah. How? Oh, some more water. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> this is a little steeper. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Knock yourself out, cowboy. I don't know. Let's see. This is pretty darn steep. Oh my god. Yeah! <laughs> Man, this is the real deal here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, boy. I am finally down from Coco, and I gotta say, I feel good that it's behind me. <laughs> it was definitely epic. And it burned my legs pretty good. But luckily it wasn't too long, you know? I think it took me two hours to get to the top. And then the backside was a little sketchy coming downhill, but here we are now. The Great Divide, my friends. The Green Tunnel. Riding through a creek road. <laughs> the creek has overtaken this road. Oh, and it's gonna get deep up here. Damn, I'm gonna get wet feet for sure. <laughs> All right. Not too bad. Look at the color of this water. Incredible, I love it. Wow. So pretty. Turquoise. <laughs> the 
so pretty. You don't see that every day. So I'm riding down this road, head is down, and I see a biker coming towards me. And it could be just anybody, right? But not anybody in the race. And look who it is. It's my new friend, Wes. How's it going? How you doing, buddy? Good. What inspired you to come out here today? Honestly, I wanted to come and meet you, Ryan. It's been, uh, we've been following you since the Great Divide. Awesome, you're <laughs> the man. You gonna come ride with me for a bit? For a bit, yeah. Let's do it. I'm so glad you came out, man. So you're following my tracker? Is that how you know where I am, kind of? Yeah. That's so funny. I kind of forget that I have a tracker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, we're lucky to live here. All the mountains and camping and hiking, fishing, biking. So Wes here just casually dropped that today is his 45th birthday. Amazing. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I wish I had a present. I can give you a... An old dirty sock. <laughs> oh, well, it's an honor that you chose to spend part of your birthday with me. Oh, it's worked out well. It's a good birthday present just to meet somebody I've wanted to meet. Oh, you're so kind. I was looking at this beautiful river and then noticed billy goats across the river. Look at that. How cool. Seeing a lot of good wildlife here. Have we come to the end? We have. Oh man. I did all that pill with you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. I really can't thank you enough for coming out here to ride with me. Oh, thanks for having it's, me along. Yeah, absolutely. Been... Here, give me a hug, buddy. Oh. Yes, sir. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday. Oh, that really meant so much. We had a good conversation. I don't know how far we rode, maybe, maybe 20 or 30 minutes together and Really, really sweet guy. He's a postal worker in this area. He's got a wife and three kids and he wants to ride his bike more, which is really cool. We're slowly trudging up this hill. I met a new friend, Dave. How you doing, brother? I'm all right, yeah. I'm uh, still trying to recover from going up Coco Claims last night. I started going up about, I think it was about 8.30 in the evening. It was dark by the time I got to the top. Uh, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in a sporting event. Wow. Uh, I think. <laughs> yeah, how you feeling now though? Uh, well, I had a good spell this morning, but I'm feeling it again now. Yeah. I've run out of gears, <laughs> run out of legs, <laughs> but uh, no doubt I'll get a second wind. Yeah. That's we, the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. We're going to get some good food in Fernie, right? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, that's, that's all that's keeping me going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this cracks me up. I love it. Mexico sure doesn't feel like Mexico right now. It just got real cold. So everybody has been talking about the potential for snow today on Saturday. And I was kind of just putting it out of my mind. I didn't want to think about it because cold weather stresses me out. And uh, it looks like they may have been right. We'll see what this turns into, but it certainly looks very cold up high in the mountains. So this is what it looks like up high. Yeah. And it's rolling in for sure. Over here as well. I am gonna boogie to Fernie and take cover. This doesn't look pretty. Here's another fun sign. Thank you, best of luck to all the riders. Woo! I have been dreaming about warm food for a long time and I just got this awesome bagel from Big Banger Bagels or whatever it's called. It's crowded in here, it's warm, I'm happy. I've been in the bagel shop for about a half an hour and I wasn't originally planning on staying in Fernie very long. I was gonna get food and get going, but it is very cold outside, I'm still very wet. But it's supposed to rain for quite a while longer and I'm trying to decide do I go out there and just 
get more miles and be miserable and camp somewhere and hope that it's warmer? Or do I get a hotel? Oh. And another thing that's a little unsettling, the forecast does not look good for the next few days, at least right here. So I don't know what that means going south, but no bueno. Okay, now I'm in the bathroom of the bagel place. I just called my mom to get some advice. I just talked to some locals about what they think about the weather. And this pretty girl said, you should go south. It's gonna be better south. So I always listen to pretty girls. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on my waterproof socks, waterproof pants, and go out there and brave it. You know, I came here for a challenge and to push it. And uh, worst comes to worst, if I get miserable, I will put up my tent and get warm quickly. So here we go. I am so glad that I met you here in Fernie. Are you Fernie locals? We're, we have a, I have a family in, near Fernie. Uh, okay. I was just visiting, yeah. uh, but it's really exciting to see you, Ryan. I'm super psyched. <laughs> yeah, it's so too bad lot. the weather didn't reach you uh, <laughs> as, as lovely as it could be. Okay, I'm all bundled up in all my warmest stuff. I went to the grocery store and bought some waterproof dish gloves. I am very waterproof right now, <laughs> which is good. Here we go. Okay, like always, once I start moving, I feel better. It's when I sit and stew and wonder and think and ponder that I get all worked up. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head out into this and number one goal is to stay safe. If I get too cold, or if this gets a little nasty, I will just hunker down and call it good. But for now, it's manageable. Woo-wee, I feel alive. Yeah, baby. Oh, it might be cold, but it is stunningly beautiful. This is what I came out here for. If I was on an adventure just at my own speed and I got to a town like Fernie and looked at the weather forecast, I definitely would have gotten a hotel. But I'm out here to do things that I don't otherwise do and to challenge myself. And that's what I'm doing right now within reason. Is that really sunshine? I did not think I'd see that the rest of the day. You know, the forecast for tonight and tomorrow is rain, 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 rain. So we'll see where all of this goes. <laughs> yep, it definitely snowed up high. Ooh, I love the contrast, the green and the white and the blue. Look at that. Mother Nature, I love you! Woo! Incredible. Please don't rain anymore. That would be awesome. Thanks, bye. So, I've been alone for a while, and I just came up on Courtney, who I met at the very first morning. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm a bit cold, but uh, <laughs> I'm just restocking the energy supplies. Oh, what is that? Yeah. That's oh, what, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And the, and the energy supplies for the machine. Oh, you have electronic shifting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on. <laughs> and we should be good. Yeah, right on. You seem to be in good spirits. Yeah, of course. How, how'd the raining. rain treat you? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was wet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier to go up a steep hill with somebody else, so thanks for accompanying me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> So far away though. It does. <laughs> well, that white flaky stuff is snow. And uh, it finally caught up with us. Luckily, I think we're going down now though. Woo! Oh, man, what a day. The temperature is dropping fast. It is nippy. But luckily, I'm also dropping altitude so it should get a little warmer not a ton it's definitely going to be in the 30s tonight maybe even colder i don't know but i hear that there is a cabin up here so we'll see how that 
that looks when we get there. I have no idea. So we're screaming down this hill, frozen fingers, and then I see Alyssa from Colorado. Colorado Springs. What's up? How you feeling, girl? Cold. <laughs> yeah. But otherwise, really good. Yeah. Has your day been good? It's been honestly really good. Me yeah. and Cordy were riding together. We were ripping. Like, we, we've been riding since 2 a.m. Wow, that's impressive. And we're still feeling good. You got the kitchen gloves! I got the kitchen gloves. Yeah. Look at what she's wearing. Boa. They're cycling shoes. Vans. They are? That well, is... they have a boa, so they are. Yeah, they are. Exactly. <laughs> like, just click it. Yeah. That is so cool. Shake it. All right, let's go to that cabin. I'm freezing. Oh. I'm freezing. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, girl. Oh, yeah. Right on, girl, we did it. Hell yeah. Woo, cozy cabin. <laughs> Hello, how's it going? How are you? Is there room for more stinky people? Not inside, all the beds are full. Oh. I might sleep under one of the tables. <laughs> How many people are here? Hey, it's Noah. Good to see you, bud. Good to see you, man. How's life? It's good, it's, it's been tough. It has been tough, good to see you, brother. <laughs> you warm? Uh, stand, trying to. Right on, man. Yeah. Good, good. The little cabin is packed with people, so no place to sleep in there, unfortunately. But there is a fire going, so I sat by that for a while and dried off some of my socks and stuff. And uh, now I'm treating myself to this. Look at that. Snickers. And then there's people camped out all over here. And my tent is going to be put up over there. Glad to be here, very glad to be here. It is about 10 p.m. I'm whispering because there's so many people around and they're all trying to sleep. <clears throat> but what a roller coaster today was. <laughs> I mean, Coco was as advertised and it was so beautiful and sunny. And then that wonderful guy named Wes came to meet me and spend his birthday with me. And I was riding high and then it got cold real cold it's only day two <laughs> this is unbelievable and i can hear a little bit of rain it's supposed to rain a little bit all night and maybe even all day tomorrow so it's going to be another cold one but i will be crossing the border into the usa tomorrow Hello, my friends. I hope you enjoyed watching day two of the Tour Divide. And you know, it's funny, I've been home now for about a month and looking back on this footage brings back so many great memories. Yes, of course, it was hard and cold on that day, but really, I have fond memories of the whole thing. That's the beauty of having perspective and time away from something. It was an amazing experience until it wasn't. Stay tuned. <laughs> also, if you like my videos, please consider joining my Patreon. You will help keep this channel alive. For five bucks a month, you will get early release videos, and those videos have no annoying ads. You will, you will have access to chat with me directly about anything you want. Occasionally, I do really fun virtual burrito dinners on Zoom with my patrons. We have a good old time, and you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that you're keeping this channel alive. And uh, thank you. If you don't want to, that's good too. Just watching this video is good enough. You are awesome. All right, see you for the next one.